hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and this question was asked by amazon in the second technical round from one of my students so question is what are the different scenarios in which you have to move some of the logic from trigger to asynchronous apex could be future method could, could be queuable apex and here interviewer expected you to explain it from your practical experience like they were asking have you ever faced any issue where everything is written in trigger and then you need to move things to Asian Kernel Apex. So what were the problem you were facing? One such problem could be that you're facing the CPU timeout where everything is happening in the single transaction on multiple objects. And there are a couple of things which can be moved to asynchronous because they are not immediately needed. So you will move those things to queuable Apex or to platform events or uh, maybe change data capture and uh, make your tra make your synchronous transaction a bit less heavy and avoid the CPU timeout. It could be something else as well depending on your experience. So try to explain the problem and then try to uh, explain why you used which kind of asynchronous and why it was the best solution for you. Thank you.